Hey guys, it's Alyssa. So I know I haven't done a video in a while. It's because my crafting area has been kind of a mess. Sorry, I heard the dog. Um, crafting area has kind of been a mess and I've been um, organizing it today. So I had to clean this entire room and I reorganized some stuff. So I wanted to show you my organized crafting area. All right. So when we come in here, we have this little area where I used to have blankets, but most of the blankets are other places now. So I have like my purses and stuff, my bag for when I start my new job. And then this is the new and improved desk area. So what I did, the main thing is I had used to have this uh, drawer thing over here where the printer is. Um, and so it was over there and then I couldn't really walk over there and then I had to like walk from the desk to go over there and then come back here and it was kind of just this whole mess that was just I don't know it bothered me and then there was a bunch of stuff just strewn over the floor over there by the thing that didn't have a place and I wanted to figure out a place so the main thing I did was I took this bin down here had a bunch of some office stuff I didn't know if I need or not need so I went through that bin and went through all the rest of the stuff. And then most of the stuff that I don't use as often, I put in the bin to keep under the desk. That gives us more storage downstairs. So this is my desk area. Turn this on, gotta create some Mother's Day things today. All right, so the first thing I, one of the first things I did was I separated my pins out into different things. So back here I have just random pins that aren't specific really, they're just from like businesses and things. And um, some highlighters. This is my pencil area. So this is our, all my mechanical pencils, regular pencils, my extra Prismacolor pencils that I can't fit in the case. And the uh, brush markers. I found, for a guy, I had some more decorative mugs. So this one I have all of like my... UB gel pens, the really cheap ones, some kid type of scissors, and then um, I have some other random pens, but these pens have become my favorite pens, the Precise V5RT. They've become my favorite pens. They're nice ballpoint pens, um, and I've been using them a lot. Over here I have, these are my fine point Sharpies markers, and then uh, my wet erase markers for my planner. Then this is what I call my paper mate, <laughs> my, my paper mate mug. So it has my paper mate flares in here, I have and then I have the paper made gel pens. I have some with the top covers. I also have some gel pens that have the click button. But I had enough to fill this entire mug. So I have a lot of those. And I didn't realize how many pens and pencils I had till I did this and organized it. And then, so I have my Apple timer, my uh, pencil sharpener here. And then this is are my letters for my um, letter board here. Um, so I can change up the time and whatever. These are kind of strewn all about, so having a place for them is really, is really nice. Now I always have a calendar in my office area. I don't actually write on generally, it's just kind of for the decorative sort of thing, also because I love peanuts. And then I have my tripod here for when I do planning videos and I don't want to have to carry around the phone. And then I have my Happy Planner block pads. So this is the favorite part they did. So since I moved this over here, I had found this like folder thing. So it has a bunch of slots in it and stuff. And I didn't really have folders or anything. So I decided to put the coloring books that I like to color in the most or the books I use the most to put in here. So the first I have is how to draw Inky Wonderlands. I've been drawing a lot more. I'm really getting my creative flow during this quarantine and I'm really loving this book. It's really fun to learn like draw like Joanna. 
And then, of course, I have a Joanna Bassford coloring book. I have World of Flowers here. And then Curious Creatures by a different author, but they're really nice. I have a Kirby Roseanne's book, Magimorphia. I have the Night Voyage coloring book, a Doctor Who coloring book, a Tol and a Tolkien coloring book. And then this is just, this was for backings for comic books that I've had for a really long time, but I don't collect comic books anymore. So I'm like, they're really nice, so I'm like, I could probably use them for something artish if I wanted to. So kept some of them there. And then I have my uh, Cali Art markers back there for my alcohol markers. So let's go through each drawer of this. So we sure, let's see, we have... These are all of my Happy Planner um, inserts and stuff. So I have my um, daily pages. I have some extras for Faith. And then I have like my monthlies. Like I do my, all of my stuff is undated. So just my stuff for that. I have more like stickers and stuff in here, more Happy Planner insert stuff this drawer um was the nice drawer that i could keep these in these are joanna basford uh, postcards they're really pretty this one i'm doing in the hot air balloon theme for mother's day for my mom i got a hot air balloon puzzle so everything else i'm doing for her is going to have hot air balloons other than my engagement picture and so that's pretty so i forgot i colored that so i'm giving that to her and then other than that, I have my little, those little mini journals from the Happy Planner that I have. A couple of Erin Condry daily journals. And then like extra dashboards and things from planners that I don't use anymore. But if I wanted to use these, I could. Here I have another postcard, which I wasn't sure what to do with. And then I have all this scrapbook type of paper lettering type of paper. I guess it's called computer paper, but it's super thin. Um, but I was thinking more of like a scrapbooky type of paper. I want to put it in my planner, use it for any other sort of artish type of thing. This drawer, I have my uh, guide to coloring and a couple of coloring books. And this folder in here has all of like my coloring pages that I like print or I take out of books that you can take coloring pages out of that are blank and haven't been colored in yet. Let me move this. Ooh, it's heavy. Okay, which drawer was that? This one. This one has more of my skinnier coloring books. These coloring books are bigger than the ones I draw on most, but these are also nice coloring books. Wanna color in them. And then my last drawer for all of coloring books. I have more coloring books than this, but they're in the bin over here. This drawer, I have all of these extra notebooks and journals that I can use. And then I have my colored pencils in this last drawer for my coloring books. All right, so in this thing right here, this is where I have all of my Happy Planner stickers. I like to try to keep them like this. So I can, oh my goodness, it doesn't want to work, does it? So most of these, you know, I can't see, but I can, I put them in a particular order. But these are all the sticker books I have. They all fit in here. See, I have space for more if I wanted some, but, you know, I don't need more sticker books right now. I might as well get through the ones I have already. Thing does not want to go back on today there we go so under here i have on top of the bin with the extra art supplies this i have this little thing it has my sticker roll wellness sticker roll some of all my mini sticker pads and some stickers and stencils i also have my whiteout in my tape runner in here so I can do and stamp some washi, a bunch of planner stuff. So this is inside of the extra stuff. So I put like the three hole punch for a regular binder, a tape dispenser that I haven't used in a while, 
and different things that I don't use as often. And that all went in there. Over here I have, um, this is my little camera thing. So it has my instant camera, also has my regular digital camera, and then um, my film and stuff in there for the instant camera, and all things camera. This kind of just has some extra stuff. I got my little McGuire bear in there, and then name tags for choir, and things like that. This is my art box with which has my watercolor pencils and all my different art supplies that I got from uh, my fiance's mom a couple Christmases ago. And I recently started using it during this quarantine because <laughs> I, I've just been a lot more creative recently. And that's kind of why I did this whole um, redo of this area. All right. And then over here... This is next to my desk here. This is, uh, I could probably organize this a little bit later. But this is all of my planners for the Happy Planner. I got my full planner, my anxiety journal. I pull these pages for my memory journal. This is um, just extra pages, you know, planning pages, things like that. I got my budget planner, my faith planner. Then I also have um, this bottom planner here is my wedding planner because my wedding is in September. So I got those. This side of the area is just kind of random stuff. I have a lettering book in here, um, some stickers I didn't know what to do with, word search book, scrapbook I made, it has more space, and this just has a bunch of like cords and things in it. So... Then also down here, I almost forgot about this area. I got, this is a lot of just faith stuff. So I have, um, I write the word journal. That's a cultivate what matters thing. I've been doing that for faith, my Bible. And then uh, Bible reading plan. And I've been reading this book, The Purpose Driven Life, and going through the stuff for that. And then down here I have, um, just a bunch of index cards and post-it notes. I have my thank you cards I'm going to use for my wedding party and then some other random thank you cards I found. And then I have my tarot cards there, color and tarot cards back here with the tarot book for the readings. I've done it a little bit. It's interesting. And then back behind that, I have just a bunch of things that I can use for like scrapbook journaling and stuff old programs from concerts, and things that I really, really like. Say hello, Casper. Casper likes to uh, hang out with me when I'm crafting and doing things. This bed is his favorite spot because this used to be the bed in my apartment. And uh, uh, before I moved in with Chaz, and so he likes to lay on here because it's comfortable to him. It's knowing it's it smells like me, I guess. I don't really know. I have my Doctor Who bear I recently got this year, my David Tennant bear. Super adorable. Comes with a screwdriver and everything. It's so awesome. My big elephant, because I love elephants. I don't know if you can tell. Elephant, elephant, elephant. <laughs> I'm obsessed with elephants. Oh, this is my... Um, what do you want to call it? Funko Pop, co my collectibles area. I got all of my Dr. Who collectible Funkos. Got some Stranger Things ones. This is a painting that friend did in choir. I have Mondo glasses for me, Alamo. That was when I met Jimmy Bamber. My Kirk Bear that I've had since I was like seven. My dad got me this wand when he went to London last year. That's Hermione's wand. And it's collectible. It's really nice. And then, of course, my Firefly uh, Funkos just wanted to fall all over the place. Oh, come on. Ah! Yeah, just going to fall flat on their faces. That's okay. 
And then I have my stereo. If I wanted to listen to music in here, if I don't want to use my phone, my iPod can go in there. Over here, this is just a wire cup for my wire coloring. Um, where I keep extra change, a couple of pictures, just a nice little table for some extra space. This area I call my bag area. It's just a bunch of random bags and stuff I can use for like trips or whatever I want to use it for. I of course have a TV in here so I can chill in here if I want. Listen to some stuff while I do things. Have all our shows up here. And the last thing I wanted to show you in this room, so I put my printer out. So we have had my printer in the exercise room in the closet. And so I keep having to take it in and out, in and out, in and out. And right now, since I'm doing classes, it's just easier to have it sitting out. Um, because I've been printing the PowerPoints and stuff to study and things like that. So it's easier just to have it sitting out where I can plug it in easily and use it. And that's just my CD area. I kind of covered it up with the hamper because it's a bit of a mess over there. I need to go through my car CDs in my car and my CDs in here, make sure everything's in the right case. I had a bunch of CDs that weren't in any cases at all, but I had extra CD sleeves that I put them in to keep them safe, and I need to just re-go through all my CDs and reorganize them. So that is a tour of my personal crafting slash chill area. So um, thanks for watching. Now, if you want to see more, please subscribe, uh, comment. Um, the next one, of the next phase will be I am going out for Happy Planner Squad this year. Um, I figured why not? I really love the Happy Planner. I've been using it since 2018, and I've been enjoying it so much. So um, I'm going to do a tryout for that and see what happens. But I just wanted to show you guys quickly what I had done in this area to make it more organized for my creativity space since I've been way more creative uh, during this time, and I've really been enjoying it so I want to keep being creative and so I figured a cleaner neater space would help with that so thanks for watching have a great night